hi lovely welcome to my youtube channel my name is messy in this video i'm going to show you how i made this gorgeous photo frame using some scrap fabrics and then this empty box of soap powder you don't need to throw those scrap fabrics away you can put them into a good use Please don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel like this video if you find it very helpful let me know your thoughts in the comment section subscription is absolutely free and let's just dive right into the video these are the scrap fabrics i'm working with they are not the same size so it's just pieces of fabrics here and there right and then i've got this empty box of soap powder can you see that I've got my photo my photo is six by four you can make use of any size of your choice okay right and then so i'm going to take this crap fabrics now take them to the iron and iron them open just iron them nicely all right because they are squeezes of fabrics that i've got in the pile so iron them nicely yeah so this is what we have okay so i'm going to cut off the savage now and i'm going to fold it over this way so this is about three inches remember i said most of them they are not the same sizes so they are different sizes okay so i trim that over that way and then i'm going to fold it into four to make something like a circle it's not a perfect circle so just fold it over and cut out that edge that way all right so i've done that to that and then this one i'm going to start trimming them like i want to make a circle remember again they are not the same sizes but i'm trying to make something that looks similar to a circle okay so i'm going to do that to all of these pieces i know you told your friend you're not okay and tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way and guess you're trying to stay strong this is what i've got i've cut them out this way so this is it so i'm going to grab my hand needle and thread right now pick a piece and then fold it on the wrong side i fold it over this way then i'm going to start making loose stitches all around so i fold a little bit in if you look closely you definitely understand what i mean fold a little bit in and then i'm going to make loose stitches all round and it goes up in my brain all of a sudden i don't look at anything the same way gotta build up of my thoughts sitting in an ashtray i'm sorry that i'm so inconvenient okay just let me be me and i'll stay out of your way i can see the way you look at me i'm such a disgrace i never really asked to be brought into this place you wanna love me well then baby have a taste all the highs and the lows no you'll never be the same i don't really want to hurt you but i can't control the pain if you're sticking by my side maybe we can be okay 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 once i get to the point where i started making the loose stitches i'm going to pull the thread so pull it and get something like this adjust it now it looks like sort of rose or something so i'm going to say sew it down to secure the same tie the thread up and cut it off so this is what we have this is what we're trying to achieve something like this can you see that okay so i'm going to do that to all of these pieces afterwards this is what we have okay this is what we have can you see that all right so they are not the same sizes but that's absolutely fine now i'm going to grab this empty box i'm going to cut it open using my scissors this is a scissors i use for cutting papers i don't use this particular scissors for my fabric so I'm going to cut that open <laughs> I cut out the two bigger parts of the box so two pieces is what i have i place my picture that way and i'm going to trace out the size length six inches width four inches okay so that is it and i'm going to add one inch on all four sides if you want to go ahead and add one and a half absolutely fine that is your preference 
so add one inch on all four sides of this cardboard now i'm going to join it together that way tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way i guess you're trying to stay strong and fake a smile until i look away but i know i go ahead i grab my scissors i cut this out very nicely you fade away and after cutting it, this is what we have. So I will cut exactly the same size on the other piece. After cutting that, so set it aside. I'm going to grab this particular piece because I want to cut it open. At the center so i grab this object i'm using it to open it up all right take your time and do this because this cardboard is really really strong so i'm using my scissors now to trim that off very nicely take a smile until i look away but i've known you too long it hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to gray all done and this is what we have can you see the two pieces all right so i cut out this fabric okay so i did add extra one inch on both four sides i didn't cut exactly the same size i have on the cardboard so i added extra one inch on all four sides so i place it this way and i'm going to grab my glue place it on the wrong side of the fabric and i've just put some glue on the cardboard i lost the clip where i was putting the glue but this is place it that way all right the glue i used was mud podge so i'm going to cut out the opening i'm going to cut an opening on the middle part so cut it that way to enable us cut it open and i'm going to trim it a little bit that way trim it all four first i trim it that way and then i'm grabbing my glue now at this point i had to change that white placement i was using because it was getting messy with the glue so i'm gluing it now and then with my brush i fold it that way okay so the essence of cutting it open and trimming off is to let it lap very well when we start folding it over so cut off that side those excess that way cut it off apply my glue and then I'm going to continue folding this until I'm done I know you told your friend you're not okay and tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way and guess you're trying to stay strong and fake a smile until I look away but I've known you too long it hurts to watch your I'm done gluing this now and this is what I have so I've now covered this with that fabric okay I'm going to do the same thing on this one place it on the wrong side of the fabric apply some glue and then the same thing I did on the other piece so I apply some glue on the cardboard place it that way all right make sure that everything is smoothing out and then I'm going to start cutting these edges that way just to make sure that everything overlaps together once we apply the glue i know you told your friend you're not okay and tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way and guess you're trying to stay strong and fake a smile until I i've now covered this cardboard with the fabric and this is how gorgeous is looking already can you see that so i grabbed these pieces to clean off the glue on this part because this is the side we are going to insert the photo okay so clean it off very well if you want to dry that part that is absolutely fine if you want to let it air dry but i use that scrap to clean it now i'm going to place this this way i'm going to start putting my glue now so i grab my glue and then i'm going to place the glue on only three sides Okay, that way I'm not going to place it at the top side because that is where we are going to insert this photo through. Okay, so place the glue that way. Be generous with this glue. So I've done that now and I'm going to do it on this piece as well. So I'm putting my glue now and leaving the top part open. Okay, 
so i've just cleaned up that waist because i don't want it to stick together i want that part to be open so that's where we can insert our photo through and then if we want to change it and put another picture we can still do that through that opening now i'm going to place this on top of that one adjust everything nicely okay so that is it and i'm cleaning off all the excess glue at this point my hand was a hot mess that's my fingers a hot mess because of the glue so i do that nicely and this is what we have if you want to leave this this way you can insert the photo through the opening that's absolutely fine but now we are going to embellish this with those little they call those little little pieces of gorgeous things we met now i'm going to use my hot glue and insert this so i'm placing it now the way i want them to be i first of all placed it this way before going ahead to place them with my hot glue i'm now gluing this down take your time and do this very nicely and this is a hot glue by the way so put a little amount of glue on the back side and then place it down i know you told your friend you're not okay and tell me what's wrong and why you I've now glued everything down and this is what we have. Can you see how gorgeous this is? This is the back side. This is the front side. This is the opening where we're going to insert the photo through. Can you see that? I'm going to grab my photo and then I'm going to insert it gently into the frame. Can you see that? Absolutely beautiful. Make sure you don't throw away those scrap fabrics. Put them into a good use. Can you see that? Absolutely beautiful. Gorgeous. Make sure you make one for yourself. This is what we have. Can you see that? Now, if you want to take it out, you can take it out as well. And through the opening and just maybe put another photo. This is what we have. Please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Subscription is absolutely free. You are not paying for subscription. Share my video to anyone you think might be interested. Now, if you want to mount this photo on the wall, this is double-sided glue. So you can use it and place it at the back and there you go. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in my next video. Bye.